Hello and welcome to this short instructional video on how to light and run a roundhouse classic live steam locomotive. The model we are using here is our classic series Lady Anne. She is a freelance design based on steam locomotives found in Britain and around the world. Many of the processes we will use to prepare her for running are standard across our range of live steam engines, so she is a good typical example. The first thing we're going to do is go over her with a spanner and check the valve gear for anything that may have worked loose over previous sessions. We're now going to unscrew the boiler filler plug and fill with water until it runs over. We would recommend distilled water or filtered water. Basically, you want the water to have as few minerals and impurities as possible to extend the life of the boiler and to avoid limescale buildup. Now we remove about 30 millilitres of water to create headspace for the steam. Next, we fill the lubricator with 220 weight steam oil, running it down the inside of the lubricator, just enough to cover the pipe passing through at the top. The gas tank can now be filled using either propane butane mix or just straight butane gas. Fill until the gas starts overfilling. We do it in this order to avoid lighting the loco without water in the boiler and possibly causing damage. We now come to lighting. Our preferred method is to use a long kitchen lighter as they can keep a flame without burning your fingertips. Turn the gas on slowly and keep the flame over the chimney until the flame pops back down. Initially, keep the gas down low until the loco warms through and then it can be opened up. Now that the burner is lit and the boiler is warming through, we can lubricate the motion. Here, we would use a lighter weight oil. We can also test the batteries in our transmitter and loco. And whilst the pressure is building, this is also a perfect time to have a beverage of your choice. At 40 psi, the safety valve will blow off and we can now run the loco. We would recommend running the local on blocks initially to run any water out of the system. Put the loco into gear and slowly open the throttle to move off. Some of our locos are designed to run out of gas before water. In cases where this isn't so, we install a water gauge so that the water level can be assessed whilst the loco is running.
In this instance, Lady Anne will run out of gas first, and once the loco is cooled enough to touch, we can fill her up and go again. And that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe for more videos.